Always got to check if these are bunnies by the bay. Oh no, you have a... Interesting, something made in 2004 is not made to be dishwasher safe. But then we're going to head over to another store. Uh, so I will do the full recap after that store. See some pink depression glass. This booth is all 50% off. Okay, my favorite dealer here. Well, we just had uh, the power go out, so. Oh my goodness, my whole car is rocking. Okay. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Oh my goodness, it is literally March coming in like a lion today here in Las Vegas. We have some very strong winds and that's not deterring me because I spent the morning at estate sales that is on the previous video and now I am at a Goodwill that happens to be on a side of town that I don't get to very often. I am at the Goodwill on Tropicana. There, everybody gets so mad at me because I don't say what store I'm at, but this is not one that I frequent regularly, so I feel okay telling you about that. Uh, we're gonna get in there and we're gonna see what goodies are on the shelf that I can buy to resell. Let's get shop done. All right. First things first. Ooh, doors are opening on their own. Let's get us a lucky cart. Feel like this one's calling me right here. Okay, we are purple tags, and right off the bat, I spotted these little anthropomorphic shelf sitters, which for some reason do remarkably well. They do want $4 a piece though, so I think that's a little more than I want to pay for them, but they are super cute. And yeah, I did spot this little piece of vintage glass, but look at what they're asking. $10. That's a no. This is a good time for me to come to the Goodwill too, because I have just come from estate sales where there's a much higher caliber of items. Huh. Okay, it's kind of interesting. But our sights are set to higher quality, higher resale. Look at this poor guy. Oh my gosh, I gotta look at what price they have on him. Five bucks for the very, very, very broken owl. Cute little angel. That is recycled glass. Very, very big piece. Not one that I wish to be shipping right now. These are kind of cool. Not super exciting though. Three dollars each. On a different day I might have picked those up, but not today. Yeah, my brain's just kind of in a mode. I have a car full of really great items. So I'm looking for some more really great items to add to it. What does this say? Broadmoor. Syracuse, China. That's kind of a cool piece, older piece, but I don't think it has a lot of resale value. That had a nice look to it. I wish that was cut glass and not pressed glass. I did just pick up some American Brilliant. I always get excited when I find it. This is the bottom to a butter dish. Why am I finding so many of these butter dishes lately? This is a little daisy and button trinket box. Now that I can get behind for two bucks. Okay, let's see. Candle holders. Nope. Nope. I'm feeling for sharpness. I want some sharpness and quality. Oh, that's a shame. I wish his little, little, what is it? It's a horn. I guess it's a horn on a snail. That's too bad. I totally would have picked him up if his little, if his little horn wasn't broken. Those are painted glass candlesticks. I like, I like the glass and I'm wondering if the paint is original to them or somebody came and painted them. There's something intriguing about them, but this one, 
Oh, that one's broken really bad. Oh gosh darn it. It's broken. Can't get them. Okay, well, we may have a light cart today, but you know what? It's early. We're only on the first shelf. You never know what we're going to find. Let's go into their holiday section here and see what goodies await. Okay, nothing so far. Hmm. I almost never, ever pick up uh, Christmas mugs or plates. Or glassware, for that matter. It's kind of cute. Cute Santa. I don't know if he would have had a lid or not. Probably. And this time of year, it takes something really special for me to pick it up Christmas or Thanksgiving wise. Although this is pulling me. Look at, oh, it's got a mouse, but the mouse has a broken ear. Came from home goods. Nope, gotta leave it. Okay, I totally wanna use this for hanging earrings on. I think it'll work. I think it'll work. And if not, I can use it as a Halloween decoration. Always got to check if these are bunnies by the bay. Oh no, you have a plastic bottle inside. You're definitely not a bunnies by the bay. L.A. Rams gnome? Hmm. There is not a lot on the shelves today. I wonder if they might be bringing something out while we're here. That's interesting. I find a lot of interesting things. Doesn't necessarily mean they equate to resale items. But I think that's part of the fun is getting just to see everything that ends up on the shelves and then kind of think to where it came from. I think I'm due for another retail refresher course, you know, going to some of the places that these things are from, like the Crate and Barrel and Pier One and World Market and Home Goods and all of that. Let me know in the comments if that would be interesting to you. Do it, should I film it? I've filmed pieces of it before, but maybe I'll just like make a whole video of going and checking and seeing what's out there in the retail world compared to what's in the thrift stores. Okay, we've got two wood giraffes. I'm checking for repairs or damage. They look pretty good. He's $4.99. Oh, you can't see those. Hold on. Stand by. Okay. So the light was light was fooling me. I can't get that guy. He's got just too much damage. Let's check this guy a little closer now that I'm not glaring into the light. I think he's okay. All right. We're going to pick him up for $4.99. This is my happy place. That much I know. But nothing else happy on these shelves. Big old 90s flower pot. There's that. Looks like very contemporary glass. But we will look closer. Yep, look at, there's that telltale kind of manufactured pontal. It's pretty. It's just not high enough in value to deal with its size and weight and all of that. Let's see. Okay, well, so far, we're going to have a light guard, I'm telling you. Ball hammer fires dawn. That's really cute. Looks like it was done by a child as a gift. Little school project, if it were. Let's see a big old Mickey Mouse mug. It's five bucks. Ah, with a big old chip. That's unfortunate. Ooh, we've got some color to you. Columbia. I did like that color. 
not dishwasher safe a special place 2004 interesting something made in 2004 is not made to be dishwasher safe because uh, we're pretty much in the era of the dishwasher just little glued on little buttony things The glass looks really pretty with the light from the window behind it, that is for sure. But I don't see anything here for us. Is that maybe a little Bodum mug? These actually sell really well, at least they used to. I just don't know if I want to deal with just one little Bodum mug, so I'll leave that for somebody else. I must say, I'm a little disappointed in this store today. Usually, it is packed, packed, packed full of stuff. And I find tons, but I haven't been here. Like I said, I haven't been here for probably six months. So it's interesting how the stores change what they have and what they do. Maybe the plastics aisle will be our surprise aisle today. What? Something tells me. Probably not. Probably not. Okay, that's a cool looking canister. It's got the, kind of the, the rubber grip lip there. It is not a name. Mm, big old chip on the handle that. That's too bad. I've had this bowl. It took forever to sell that bowl. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe I didn't even sell it. It was up on my stage at the Good Stuff and I'm not sure if I sold it. It's perfectly normal not to have 100% sell through. If you're a reseller and you're upset because you have a lot of stuff that didn't sell, that's perfectly normal. Uh, that's what happens in all retail stores. You don't sell it all. You sell a portion of it. These are cool. These are Halls China. You can see there. I don't know. It says Moss White. Uh, I don't know if this has a different name to it, but $3.99 a piece. I am grabbing those. Okay. Lots of clear serving dishes. And not much else. At this rate, it's gonna leave me time to go to a second store today, which I am perfectly fine doing. Go take a peek at the art over here. See what calls to us. Hmm. Not a whole bunch. Ooh, that's actually painted on the wood. It's quite nice. All right, let's see if any lamps look appealing. What is with all the white lamps today? Holy smokers, it's a lot of white lamps. Hmm, I don't see anything except I do want to take a look at that. What are you? Interesting, I don't know if something would have gone on top. Has a very vintage look, but not a very high quality vintage look, so we'll go ahead and leave you there. Dumpling incense burner, anyone? Actually, I need to look at this behind. Oh, they're blue. Blue, not white. What would have been the chances of finding two wedding bouquets at a Goodwill? Already found one. I will be taking that to Jordan in a couple of weeks, doing a little San Diego shopping. Definitely looking forward to that. Oh, plastic dinosaurs. Okay, not too exciting. So I'm taking a peek through the linens before I give up on this store. 
It's kind of a nice crocheted tablecloth. It's not real big, but it is only $3.99 also. Let me look at this a little closer. It looks to be in really good shape. I don't see any stains or tears. I'm looking it over. It's a nice size, pretty standard size. I think we're going to pick that up for $3.99. I just need to come up with a good way to take pictures of those large linens. They don't really have a good spot. I actually don't have a dining room table to even put it on. That's why I usually use my bed, but that's not a good solution either. We'll peek through the purses quickly. Why does that say feed? Provides three. Oh, that's cool. You buy that and then they give meals. Rosetti. All right, nothing, nothing too fabulous in the purses. They do have a jewelry case here, so let's peek. Right off the bat, I spotted a strand of rose quartz beads and then rose quartz little chunky nuggets there. So hopefully we can get some help and get those out of the case. And looking, I'm not seeing anything on that bottom shelf other than that. <laughs> I'm gonna check those pearls right there because they do look like they're knotted. So I'm just gonna see what the closure is on those. Actually, there's a couple, couple strands of pearls to look a little closer at. Some nice little Stone bracelets, which I sell a lot of. Let's see what's up here in the earrings. Uh, is that a Disney pen pin over there? No, it's Guild of Calamity. Okay, that's kind of funny. I might have to get the little elephant. I think he's three bucks. So when I look at the jewelry, I'll look at that. $12.99 on the Blue Sky Coffee Beans. All right, stand by. Okay, I'm looking at these. Look, I just got a little, a little carved ducky. This is kind of nice. So it's two bracelets for $3.99. So I think we will go ahead and get those. Okay, let's look at this first. I just had to pull everything out that I wanted to look at. All at once. Ooh, $14.99. But I think after having a conversation with Dawn of Hudson Vintage the other day, that $15 for that is not bad. Those are high quality rose quartz beads. So we will go ahead and be taking those. And now that I look at this one, I don't think this is it real. Okay, I guess it is. It does have a pink. It's got a little pink hue to it, and these are only $5.99, so we'll get those too. Okay, on to the pearls. And so, okay, there is a closure on this one. It's a little barrel clasp. I think these are fake. You can kind of see they're peeling, so we're not going to get those. That looks like it's missing the original clasp on those. Yeah. I'm going to check those just a little closer. I don't think they're real. I just saw a seam on one of these. It does have an older clasp. But I don't think it's that great. These are really piquing my attention though. Look at the clasp on this. And it is marked, oh, what does that say? Marvella. These are Marvella, $7.99. We're gonna go ahead and get that one. And I found these fun cat earrings that I'm gonna go ahead and pick up for $2.99. And I also found this little guy. Yeah, he's super cute. He's coming with me too. Okay, we're gonna head to the checkout. There is a very, very long line. Uh, it's going to be a while, but then we're going to head over to another store. Uh, so I will do the full recap after that store. Stay tuned for that. Okay, 
and I started thinking about this. It's Saturday. The Goodwills have a lot of traffic and a lot of resellers are out there scouring the shelves. So, change of plans. We are at the Paradise Valley Antique Mall. I'm going to keep my eyes set on that high-end item. And I've gotten a little variety uh, today. You'll have to go watch the previous video to see what I got at the estate sales. But my brain is in quality mode, so I thought, what better than to come to an antique mall? So let's get inside. Let's get shop done. Oh, the wind is just really ripping today. So it'll be nice to get inside. I really love the layout of this antique mall. It is clean and bright, easy to navigate, remember where you've been, where you haven't. It is one of my favorites to shop. Okay, my favorite dealer here has done some new markdowns, has done some restocking. So I'm going to take a peek at what quality goodie I can come away with today. Oh, look at him. Teplets? I don't know teplets. He is 75. He looks Italian, for sure. Some stone earrings, pretty. Really awesome American art pottery in here. Quite the collection. Oh, what's this one? It's it's marked down. So I'm wondering, would it be 20? It's a Weller, so I think it would be like 27? Because it's been marked down, but then it's half of that price, I think? Maybe? I'm going to have to find out. Okay, I'm not seeing jewelry that's really grabbing me today. I have a lot of jewelry to get sold already, so jewelry's got to be something really different and fabulous for me to pick it up. Even though, I know, that sounds a little contradictory since I bought jewelry at the Goodwill. I mean, like, paying, like, a higher price for the jewelry when it's, like, such a good deal that I can't say no, then, uh, like, that is a pin and earring set for five dollars like I feel I feel like I need to get that and I feel like I need to look at the pink jade necklace those are little carved beads I don't think I've ever heard of pink jade so I want to look closer at that one and I can't tell what the price is either let's see what else is in here I still want her not-for-sale coral piece up there. Oh, these guys are fabulous. Can't see who the maker is on that, but that is looks German or Austrian. Oh, yes, that's a very nice piece. And they are quite busy today, so I'm going to have to wait in my turn to get some help, to get some goodies out. That's a lamp. Let's see. She marks her stuff really well, too. Oh, it's Royal Hager. Royal Hager. I don't know what that word is there, but it's $75. That seems like a reasonable price for a Royal Hager lamp. And this one is Roseville Zephyr Green Tiger Lily Basket. It's had a repair. It's $125. I usually get a piece or two out of this booth every time I come here because the quality of the items is just so outstanding. <sighs> White ceramic mother and child would be $4. Four, four dollars. I don't see a reason not to get that. I'm looking for a chip, like there's gotta be a reason that it's only $8 to begin with. And now it's only four and I don't see one. So we're taking that. This table is just stunning. Three piece carved Chinese table and two stools, 265. That seems like a spectacular price. I didn't realize these were earrings. Ear are they earrings? They yeah. are. Yeah. yeah, they're earrings. What did you thought they were? I wasn't sure. Actually, I thought it was a pin at first. And they're $1.50. 
Okay, those are coming with me. Let's see. Oh, 55. That's a great price on that. You know what? I think that's like an. It's marked. Hmm. Okay, we're, we're getting that one too. I think I had my eye on this the last time I was here, and now it's half price. Jefferson Woodworking, 1987. Let's grab that for, okay, what's well half of 35? 17.50? Okay, that's it. See some pink depression glass. This booth is all 50% off. So that kind of enticed me in. It's not really my kind of stuff though. <laughs> okay, that's odd and interesting, the hand. It was 150, so it'd be 75. Oh, I like that old uh, display case. Oh, those are nice lamps in there too. But I think we are leaving this booth empty handed. Oh my gosh, look at this set right here. So it's earrings, shoe clips, and a pendant all matching for $18. That seems like a really good price. Oh, and they're marked. They have a name on there. What does that say? Does that say Sarah Coventry? Why are Sarah Coventry shoe clips? Wait a minute. Why are there Sarah Coventry shoe clips? They are all marked Sarah Coventry. That is very interesting. I just looked up just the shoe clips are out there for like $45. So I don't think at $18 I can go wrong. I am fascinated by this piece for $5. It is a deer head. They're calling it a vase. Is that really what it's meant for? I guess if you imagine the flowers coming out like antlers, I'm I'm a little enamored with it. I'm not going to lie. It's only $5. I think I must have it. Hmm. Had some of those in my booth at the Good Stuff. This booth here, it just has some remarkable things. Very awesome, awesome jewelry. Jewelry. Furniture. I'm looking at furniture and saying jewelry. Mid-century chairs. And then I just am a big fan of the old oak furniture. Well, we just had... Uh, the power go out so I'm I'm showing people what it looks like in an antique mall in the dark <laughs> oh we're hoping the power comes back on because I do have my little pile of stuff but this is quite interesting well as I'm shopping in the dark I was perusing this little rack of jewelry and found this interesting little marquetry bird pin for two dollars I'm gonna add him to my pile well, this wind is getting really, really crazy. And they had to shut down the mall. I waited a while. I was really hoping it was going to come back on, but it did not. So I'm going to have to come back tomorrow to pick up the things that I already picked out, which is fine. I'll get to peruse a little more, but that's probably going to end up on another video uh, just because of the sequence of things. I don't know. Anyway, this is the mall that I am considering getting a space in. I'm really leaning towards it. I really, I was at this mall many years ago uh, and I really loved being here and I love the people. So stay tuned for more info on that and I'll set up like a regular time for a meet and greet and all that good stuff. I think, I think that's uh, coming on my plate soon. That will help me get my storage empty too. Oh my goodness. My whole car is rocking. Okay, I have to get home in all of this, which is a little scary because trees are coming down. So I'm gonna get home. You go be profitable and make it fun. Okay, I'm back. I could not get back here the next day. So I'm back here on a Monday morning to finish what we started. Oh, this is a 
new booth it looks like. You know, the glass caught my eye. Green and blue Murano art glass vase for 120. Sorry, little peacock, I'm moving you to the side. Let's see. Are you labeled? Not labeled. It feels newer. That might not be actual Murano. I don't know for sure. But without a label, it's also like this is definitely the like in the style of Murano type stuff. You gotta be careful. And it's easy. It's not that a uh, seller is trying to deceive or anything. It's, it's Mark Murano. I mean, it literally, the labels say Murano when you buy that stuff. I like this little miniature cobalt blue swung vase. 24. Hmm. Oh, Dumbo's super cute. All right, well, we're gonna keep looking for some cool stuff. Got the 1980s Hager statues there, $74 each. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. He is like a paper mache fish for $20. Have you ever seen a glass shoe that is roller skates? Yeah, me neither. Okay, I'm kind of in love with this judgy little cat. It says it's from 1975. Is there a mark? Oh, there is a Universal Statuary Corp, 1975. He is only 850. I don't know, there's something just very compelling about this little kitty cat and he is going into my pile. I think I see some more cats on the table over there. They are salt and peppers. Let's see. Let's see, how much are you? You are... Oh, you're two of two. Okay, price is going to be on the other one. Let's see. 17 for the pair. They are missing their bottoms. Got some crazing. I think it's 17 with a little bit of damage that they have. I do have to leave those. I do see another swung vase back here. It is... $32. They're just calling it a red and clear, but it's definitely a swung. I don't know who makes this one. Hmm. Looking at it through the light just to see that true color. It is a ruby red, but it's cased. Hmm. 32. I'm going to leave it for now, but that's the cool thing about an antique mall is the items are usually here when you come back a few days later, if you saw something that was just calling you, so I can do a little research and if it's worth it, I can come back and get it. Okay, I wandered into this booth here and spotted this really sweet little trinket box right off the bat. It is signed Madeline 72 and it is just $5. So that is coming with us too. And this is what I love about craft lot jewelry. Look what you can do. This is a mirror that is just all encrusted with pieces of jewelry. Probably like single earrings and broken pins and the such, but it makes a really, really fantastic mirror. And the dealer has $300 on that and it's worth every penny. Okay, I'm looking through this case of really high end items. And I spotted this flower. Everything in this booth is also 50% off. Look at how incredible that is. It's priced at $29. So it's only $15. I'm grabbing it. Okay, I'm grabbing these two Native American earrings. These are, I'm not sure what that stone is in there. I think it's probably like an agate is what it looks like. Actually, I'm getting them for half of... 44 and then these I'm not sure what that stone is either but uh, these are marked actually marked Navajo on the back Platterine. I don't know whatever that says Navajo so we're gonna figure them out for $34 okay I sent a picture of this to Dawn Hudson Vintage 
and she said, grab it. So I'm grabbing it for $92.50. I have a lot of customers who really love perfume bottles. So I always take a look for anything unusual. Ooh, this one, I do, I have a Lalique pad. Oh yeah, that's Lalique. That is Lalique. This room is 50% off, so it'd be 75 on that one. This amethyst is really pretty. Who makes you? You are Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor something. I feel like there's some purple missing from that side on that one. Miss Dior. A lot of these perfume companies used really high-end glass companies like Baccarat and Lalique. Well, Lalique has her own. Um, but yeah, sometimes if you see a really high quality perfume bottle, it's uh, it's made by a really good company. This one's catching my eye. I think that's a $7.50. If that's a $7.50, I am snagging that because then that's only $3.75. Yes. Oh my, this was quite a perfume bottle collection. Oh, I really, really like that one. Look at its little flowers in a dome inside the bottle. Oh, that's a really cool one right there, too. Oh, wow, and look at that, like an intaglio. I bet if I look at that from the other side, you can see the face from the other side, maybe. Yes, yes, you can. Wow, this is a really cool collection. Okay, I don't believe I have ever seen a Capitamonte turtle. There's something new. I'm not in love with him. I gotta confess. But I do find it fascinating. Well, here's looking at you. And with that, I think I'm going to head to the checkout. I think I've spent my budget here. I've gotten some really incredible things. Super happy. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll show you what I got at the Goodwill. That was first. And then here at the Paradise Valley Antique Mall. That's coming up right now.
pants on, I must say. <laughs> uh, I ended up spending a little over $300 there, but I got some really nice pieces. I'm really shooting for those bigger profits, less items to sell kind of a thing. Uh, so uh, you've seen the recap, saw everything I bought. Those items will be in the nicheladyshop.com very soon and will be showing up on the Niche Shopping Network where there's sometimes some special perks for shopping over there too. And so now I'm off to a Goodwill, which will be on the next video. So make sure you are subscribed and hit the little bell notification. And with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. Yeah.